Christmas is right around the corner, a time many of us look forward to. You know, we get ready for decorating our Christmas trees, putting up our festive Christmas lights, you know, singing Christmas carols, and the presents. I mean, gosh, how can we forget the presents? It's a time where we get to gather with our family, our loved ones, and, and just enjoy the time of, of peace and joy in our lives. But for some of us, Christmas isn't a time of joy and peace. For some of us, it's a time of increased self-reflection. Maybe you're one of those people that, that want the perfect Christmas with the perfect presents and the perfect social gatherings, and you get all stressed out and you get all angry. By the end of it, you wonder, was it even worth it all? Or maybe you're one of those people that begin to analyze the inadequacies of life or the inadequacies of yourself. Maybe you start to compare yourself to other people. You start to look at how much more another person has than you do. Or maybe you're one of those people where Christmas brings loneliness. You feel all alone, even when you're around so many people. You start to wonder, is there anyone here that actually cares? Is there anyone that cares about me, that truly loves me? Maybe you're one of those people that go through a period of depression during Christmas. Maybe for you, Christmas is a time where you start asking questions about life. You know, what does it all matter? Why, why am I even here? What is the point of all this? There's got to be more to life than this. This is why the heart of the true Christmas story is so life-giving and life-transformational. You know, Christmas isn't about decorations and festive lights and, and good food, but it is about a gift, a single gift that God gave us, the gift of a baby being born in a wooden feeding trough. Later, he'd be nailed at the cross. He'd be rejected. The city would demand his crucifixion. He would have old clothes on and then be stripped naked. His hands and feet would be pierced by nails on a cross. The punishment he went through is the punishment that brings us peace. It's through his wounds that we're healed and invited into a relationship with him. It's through the gift of Jesus that we're able to gain greater clarity, meaning, and purpose for our lives. If you want to understand your greater purpose, God's greater purpose for you in your life, then click the button below and journey with me to discover the deeper truths about God and how He entered into our story in what we now call Christmas.